at the ACC Night of Legends. I'm Jeff Michelle for the ACC Digital Network with the ACC Coach of the Year, Duke's David Cutcliffe. Coach, talk about the season and what it's meant for you to, to accomplish so much. Well, I'm really proud of our seniors. Uh, the drought of uh, the bowl drought is over. Uh, I think that's the biggest issue. And to have played so well early and to gotten that out of the way and, and playing meaningful football in November where you've got a chance to compete for a football championship at Duke, you're kidding me, that's good stuff. I remember we talked in July and we, the first question we said, so is this the year? Was that on the minds of you and the players all season long? And it, feel, it must have felt great once you guys got to that sixth month. Oh yeah, absolutely uh, on our mind. And we felt like we would have a really good year. And then you had all that adversity hit. We opened the season with seven starters not available um, for what this team overcame, uh, for all of the people that worked so hard for this, it was very rewarding to, a little over halfway through the season, be 6-2 and two and bowl eligible. And now you're looking ahead to what might happen, where you guys might be headed. What are you hearing about the bowl game you might be going to? You know, I'm hoping we're making a return visit uh, here, and I think that's a, there's a chance, strong chance of that, but I've learned a long time ago. Wherever they ask you to go, say yes. That's a pretty easy question. Now, coaches get measured by the wins and losses, the X's and O's. You've had some unbelievable adversity this year with losing Blair Holiday to an injury. He's been out all season long, and he's come back to campus. What has that meant to you and to the team this season? Well, we, we measure our program like everybody else, wins and losses, but we hold ourselves to a higher standard. And that standard includes everything we do. And a big part of that is the family values, Blair's family. Uh, our players took it upon themselves to care for him. The first time he came back, he rode the team bus from the motel. I wish people could have seen our players helping him down the steps, walking like secret service men around the president as we went through the Blue Devil Alley. Um, I didn't need anything else to happen good the rest of the season after I saw that, to be honest with you. Well, it has been a great season for the Duke Blue Devils, headed to a bowl game this season after a six, six year on Coach Cutcliffe, the ACC Coach of the Year. I'm Jeff Michelle for the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.